we are well into the process of identifying all of the products that contain peanut butter or peanut paste from this company uh, and recalling those from the market. Uh, we are not all the way there yet. We are still identifying new uh, products uh, every day. That is Stephen Sunloff, director of the Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition at the FDA. He's referring to the salmonella outbreak that has sickened at least 486 people, killing six. Those first illnesses reported back in September of last year. CNN senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen joining us now. So Elizabeth, this story just keeps growing. What's going on now? Well, it's growing now to the point where they're concerned about pet food. That's right, some dog biscuits have been recalled. They're called Great Choice Dog Biscuits. The concern is that there's peanut paste in these biscuits that came from the same factory that made products that have now been linked to this salmonella outbreak. Now, not only is this a potential problem for your dog, but if a dog gets salmonella poisoning, they can pass that illness on to humans. And also, if people are handling the biscuits and then put their hands in their mouth, that could be a problem. It's a particular concern for children. Now let's take a look at the 43 states where there have been reports of either salmonella illnesses or deaths from salmonella. It is uh, the states you see in yellow. As a matter of fact, the gray states are the only states that have not seen cases in this salmonella outbreak. Wow, that's unbelievable the, the, how far reaching mm. this is, Elizabeth. So the bottom line, how do people know, how can they be sure if their peanut butter or peanut product is safe? You can go to CNNHealth.com. That's, that, that's what you need to do. Mm. And let me give you a list because there's peanut uh, butter and peanut uh, paste in so many different things. If you bought your peanut butter in a supermarket, just in a jar like many of us do, that is okay. That is not of concern in this outbreak, according to the FDA. However, peanut products that are served in restaurants, schools, nursing homes, peanut butter in those places, those are questionable. It might have come from this factory. Now, thirdly, there is peanut paste and peanut butter in many snacks. You would be amazed at how many different products they're in. Cookies, crackers, cakes, ice cream. That's where you want to go to CNNHealth.com and you will see a link to the FDA list of all of the recall products. That list is so long, I can't say them all here. Yeah, absolutely. And also, Elizabeth, the, the fact that that list has been growing, if a product that's not on that recall list is in your house, can you feel sure that it's safe? No, you can't. What the FDA tells us is that if something in your kitchen is not on that list, that does not necessarily mean that it's okay. It may just mean that they haven't gotten to it yet. We heard Dr. Sunloff talk about how they're still going through lists of products that might contain peanut paste or peanut butter from this factory. So do not assume that it's okay. Instead, if it's not on the recall list, you can just leave it in your kitchen. You can wait a period of time, see if it appears on the list. If it does appear on this recall list, what you want to do is throw it away. Yeah.